Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday morning, January 5th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It's a cold start to our Sunday out there across the area. Temperatures in the upper 20s, uh, around 30, lower 30s, depending on how far south you go across the state of Alabama. But everyone, basically the northern two-thirds of the state, below freezing this morning. Something we're real proud of. Uh, we can't lay claim to having created it, but we'll certainly take it right now. That's the U.S. Drought Monitor Report for Alabama. Nothing in the state abnormally dry or drought at this point. Hasn't been that way since February the 19th of last year. And uh, unfortunately, over the last several years, uh, that drought monitor has had uh, abnormally dry and drought on it much more than it's been free like this but uh, we'll take uh, this wet uh, scenario for now and hopefully build on it going into the long hot summer ahead this is uh through monday well no i'm sorry that's not really true this is the two-week rainfall amounts off of the um, uh, gfs showing another five and a half inches across much of uh, the northern half of alabama so that same trend will continue upper level pattern this morning showing a mainly zonal flow, flow across the united states bookending troughs uh exiting the northeast and entering the west coast but for much of the country uh fairly tranquil weather you see a bit of a trough there moving through minnesota uh even more pronounced at the surface uh one of those alberta clippers there over southern canada that trough uh, producing windy conditions over the upper midwest parts of eastern north dakota and western minnesota will see wind gusts 65 miles an hour today much of the rest of the nation though fairly benign weather on this first sunday of january this is the gfs for monday noon showing high pressure still large and in charge across alabama uh, we'll see a few more clouds tomorrow mostly sunny day today uh, high temperatures topping out uh, this afternoon in the middle 50s will be in the upper 50s tomorrow uh, so uh, all in all, fairly nice weather uh, through the day tomorrow. We'll see increasing clouds tomorrow night as that trough uh, sort of spreads its tentacles down through the Mississippi Valley and the southeastern United States. We'll see a few showers developing uh, over Alabama late Monday night. Could be a few snow showers eastern Kentucky, the uh, mountains of eastern Tennessee. But here in Alabama, we'll see just a, a little light rain uh, drizzle and a few showers uh, late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. That activity will be gone uh, by mid-morning on Tuesday, uh, setting the stage for a partly cloudy day. Not much of a temperature regime change. We'll be back in the 50s on Tuesday. Wednesday looks like a nice day. Again, high pressure large and in charge over the state. High temperatures in the upper 50s to near 60 across Alabama, so not bad weather for midweek. Now, that uh, high pressure slides off uh, onto the east fairly quickly in the progressive uh, flow across the United States, and we see the return of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we see uh, a few showers potentially developing late Thursday night. I think we get through all the day Thursday into Thursday evening. High temperatures topping out in the lower middle 60s. Uh, not a bad day with that increasing southerly flow, but it will set the stage for a wet weekend across Alabama. You'll see increasing rain during the day on Friday and uh, a widespread uh, soaking rain developing again for Alabama Friday night. Uh, this rain will continue into Saturday. You can see uh, it will become heavy at times, according to the GFS here, as the surface low develops and tracks across north-central Alabama. This activity will be slow to move out on Saturday. Expect uh, cloudy skies, lingering showers, uh, slightly cooler conditions for Saturday. And then Sunday should be uh, a nice and cooler day. Next rain chance comes in on Tuesday the 14th. Voodoo land, uh, fairly boring uh, this is Tuesday the 21st for our next real rain chance, a few showers as uh, another one of those uh, clipper systems moves through the Great Lakes. These are 16 days high, 16 days worth of highs off of the GFS showing uh, fairly seasonal temperatures uh, through the midweek period, uh, rising into the uh, upper 60s uh, for the weekend. Uh, so despite all that wet weather, we'll have uh, Friday and Saturday next week. At least it'll be warmer. And you see that, again, no regime change there uh, as the uh, system uh, is, uh, you know, not polar in nature and uh, just basically continuing in this generally zonal flow. We'll go back cooler uh, around the 17th and 18th, but uh, again, quickly be back into the middle 60s. Well, that's your weather video for this uh, Sunday, January the 5th. 
Uh, James will, of course, have two days all the week ahead. We'll have notes on the block. Scott will be back next Saturday. I'll sit here next Sunday morning, and until I get to do that, I remind you, always keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.